everyone in Blackstone says they had absolutely no idea that this family was in such trouble. But there were warning signs, including calls for police and the Department of Children's and Families. I-Team reporter Lauren Lemanchik shows us the red flags that everyone seems to have missed. Was it really a mystery? Children living in abuse and neglect? The, the family didn't even know, but you also had the mailman delivering mail. You had the UPS man here, and no one saw anything, and neither did the neighbors. And this has been going on for years. And uh, look, at we're just as shocked as uh, you are. But these documents do show Erica Murray and Ray Rivera were on the police and social service radar. 29 police visits or calls to this house since 2000. We asked child welfare advocate Mary McGoin to take a look. There's enough of them that it really makes me wonder First of all, why didn't anyone connect the dots? In the reports, noise complaints, three school checks for absentee students, three animal welfare complaints. Not to mention two visits by the health inspector for trash in the yard. It's this 2007 report that brought DCF into the fold. A relative who was living with the family was threatening to hurt herself. While there, police noticed children sleeping on couches in the living room in a house that was littered with dirty clothes, etc., on the floor. That's not unusual at McGoin all. McGoin agrees it was not enough to start a full DCF intervention, but it should have raised red flags that the family might need help. What I look back on it and say, animals, cars, pe family members who are harming themselves, you would like to think that they know to keep an extra set of eyes on these families and these kids. And there are agencies out there, like the one McGowan runs, that exist for that very reason, to help parents before a situation becomes dire. But she says those prevention services have been hit hard by cuts, and that's why we all need to keep our eyes open. Jonathan? All right, Lauren, thanks very much. And clearly, there is a lot to uncover and a lot of questions which still need answers. Stay with WBZ as our team continues to work to find out more about what was going on and what happened.